So you guys might already know that Inkscape has released a new version Inkscape 3.1 last week with a bunch of new features and one of them is the Inkscape material library for Revit and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use the Inkscape materials in Revit but before I get started I would like to suggest you watch my video on Inkscape 3.0 to understand this one better because we got a complete overhaul of the user interface in the version 3.0 anyway let's get started so here I'm in Revit and as you can see I have already opened this project which I did in my previous video. I just added uh, some uh, Inkscape assets near this curtain wall uh, and this window. If you want to follow along with me you can watch my previous video and create this scene or you can just get this project file from my Patreon. All the links are in the description. Now let's go to the Inkscape tab and here you will find these two new buttons. Uh, Inkscape material library and uh, Inkscape material editor uh, in the new version Inkscape 3.1 now uh, first let's start the Inkscape before that I will just choose a view from this drop down then start the Inkscape so the Inkscape is now started so first I will just quickly reset the render settings which I did uh, which I did earlier so let's open up the visual settings and I will just right click this custom preset and uh, reset to default perfect as you can see here we have a Revit material applied to this floor now I will show you how you can uh, replace this with the Enscape material so first let's go back to Revit and open up the Enscape material library as you can see here we have 240 plus materials uh, which have been organized into different categories for now i want to use a wood material so i will just go to the wood category here and i want to use this material so to load this into our project you just need to click it and this import selection button will appear you just need to click it to load it into uh, the project and as you can see the material is now imported into our project and of course you can load multiple materials uh, in your project at the same time to do that you just need to select the materials which you want to load into your project or you can just right click and select all and just click this import selection now if you notice here all of these materials have this little star icon at the corner by clicking the star icon you will be able to save them uh, into the favorites so you can use your favorite materials in uh, your future projects and one more thing which you need to focus on here is this little gear icon at the bottom if you click it it will show you the textures location by default all the textures saved in the c drive so it is recommended that you change this uh, textures location to your project folder when you are working on the shared projects so you won't lose the materials now let's close the material library because I have already loaded the wood material uh, into the project which I want to use. Now to apply that material to this floor we need to use the same old method which we uh, usually use in Revit. Just select the floor, edit type, edit and then we can click here and we'll find the Enscape material uh, in this material browser here which we have just loaded into our project so I will just search here wood and you can see this wood to uh, Enscape material is showing here now we can just select that and click OK and then OK again and let's go back to the Enscape and there you go we got this cool looking Enscape material here now I want to edit this material uh, for that we can use the Enscape material editor so let's go back to Revit again and open up the Enscape material editor and here it will show you all the materials the generic materials loaded in your project so now let's look for the wood material which we have just loaded here we have it let's select that and to edit the size of this material we can just click on this material and it will open up this uh, graphic and we can change the width and the height here keep in mind currently this material editor works only in the metric units so let's put 0.8 meter here also I will put 0.8 
now I want to make this texture a bit darker so I will just reduce the brightness a little bit and you can see the changes here this was the original material and this one uh, is the new material now if I go to the other maps of this material uh, you will see uh, it automatically updated here as well now uh, let's go back to the Enscape and there you go the texture is now updated and let's rotate this a bit so let's go back to the Enscape editor and we can use the slider to rotate the texture or we can just put the angle here so I will put 45 degrees and let's go back to Enscape there you go the material has now been updated here now let's say you want to use this material uh, for your future projects with the same settings for that Enscape uh, material editor has a feature that allows you to export this material to your computer so you can use them in your future projects to do that you can just hover over the material which you want to export then uh, these three dots will appear you just need to click it and then you will see this option export material package and you can just save it to your computer and the next time uh, in your other projects you want to use the same material you can just click these three dots and import material package and just load the material which you want to use now if you notice here this material type is set to generic if i click this drop down you will see six other types of materials which enscape provides so uh, we have the carpet clear coat which can be used for the car uh, or the metallic paints and then we have the foliage and then grass self illuminated and water now i will quickly show you how you can use this carpet material so let's uh, minimize this and i will just go to level one and delete this enscape asset which i loaded in my previous video and let's create a carpet here so for that i will first uh, pause the enscape and then go to the architecture and we will use the model in place to create the carpet let's use generic models click ok and let's call it carpet and we want to create an extrusion here so let's select the extrusion and draw a rectangle here let's make it uh, 4 feet 6 and here 9 feet and we can now click ok but before that i will just change the extrusion end which is going to be the thickness of this uh, carpet so we'll just put one inch here now let's click finish and let's go here and click at the corner to apply a material to this carpet so let's create a new one and let's leave it like this and click ok and then finish model and let's resume the enscape and let's go back to the enscape and if you notice here we got this uh, carpet here now let's apply a carpet material uh, from the enscape material editor so let's open up the material editor and then search for the material i think this one default material one let's select that and change the type to carpet and if i go back to the enscape you will notice we got this cool looking 3d carpet material here now let's edit this carpet material so i will just take the enscape here and let's uh, take revit to this side now we have the parameters here to uh, edit the height as well as the height variation so first i want to reduce the height of this carpet a bit let's zoom in here and i will just reduce the height of this carpet you can see immediately it's updating the material here now let's edit the variation of this in the same way you can uh, do the changes to the grass as well you just need to apply the grass material and then you can just edit the height here and if you want you can change the color of the grass or you can simply load a grass texture here by clicking this uh, button now i will just change it to the carpet and change the color of the carpet to 
this one maybe perfect so this was a quick overview of the new inkscape library and material editor for revit the next video is also about the inkscape material editor and after that i will share with you the render settings and you will see how easy it is to render your revit projects in inkscape so stay tuned for that and that's it i will see you guys in the next video